Hello everyone, welcome back to Nigerian View. So guys, let's discuss about this confraternity clash that is going on in Edo State in a community called Osen. And this clash is between Supreme Area Confraternity and Jurist. This clash has claimed a couple of lives and in this video, I am going to tell you guys the details of how this confraternity was started and we will discuss about the people that were brought down. After I finish discussing with you guys, you will realize that this confraternity war that has escalated could have been easily settled, as in very easy to settle, especially the people that are involved in making this settlement. But before I get into this video, I quickly want to remind you guys that the confraternity war between Black Ass and Supreme Vikings confraternity in the city of Ogara, right there in Delta State, is still very active. So if you know you are a member of either of the above mentioned names, just try as much as possible to keep yourself safe because life does not have duplicates. So with that out of the way, let's dive into today's video. So before I go into the full explanation of what is going on, I quickly want to give you guys the premise or the settings of the confraternities in this particular place called Osen. Now Osen is a community in Edo State and it has a higher institution. The name of the higher institution is Edo State Polytechnic Osen. And before now, they don't bring people down in that community because everyone knows each other. Most people that are members of these two confraternities that are involved know each other. So whenever they raise a confraternity clash, when they catch their rivals, they will just beat up their rival and let the person go. And the other people will look for the other rivals and they will beat the rival and let the person go. They usually don't bring people down. And it was expected that this particular regime is going to be the most peaceful regime. I am sure you have seen the title of this video that this is not supposed to have happened. The reason I wrote that title is because the number one man of Eye in Osen and the number one man of Jurist are brothers. These people grew up in the same house, they eat in the same plate, from the same pot and they sleep in the same room. Now the young man, who is the number one man of Jurist in that community, is an uncle to the young man who is the number one man of Eye. I think they have about four years difference between both of them according to how it was explained. And to emphasize how close they are, information got to me that the young man who is the leader of juries in that community was arrested some time ago and the young man spent up to about five years in prison. While he was in prison, this young man who is the leader of Eye right now, the number one man of Eye, has already tried to hustle and the young man started making money. He was one of the people that brought out his own money to try as much as possible to make sure that his brother is being released. This is how to tell you how close they are. The young man used his own money to release his brother and now he is the leader of Eye and that his brother is the leader of jurist so you will expect that these two groups will live together as brothers since the people that are leading them are brothers so let's discuss how this confraternity war started originally this confraternity war does not consign jurist the confraternity war started from some young men who are junior confraternity they said they call themselves the sons of jurist which is like a junior jurist. And this whole thing started around August 2022, exactly one year ago. It is said that five young men who are members of Sons of Jurist were in the football field playing football. And they had a problem with a young man who is a student of Edo State Polytechnic, Usain. Now, it is very important to understand that most of these confraternity members are indigents of the town. And it is said that some of them also went to the same polytechnic, but most of them are indigents. So these five young men that are sons of juries, they are indigents. So they had a problem with a young man in the field. According to how it was explained, it seems like when they were playing, the young man did not pass the football on time and this caused a huge problem. So from there, the five young men beat up the young man that they had a problem with, took his cell phone and they took his wallet. 
not knowing that the person that they just beat up is a member of Eye. So after they left, the young man that they beat up went to meet his members and explained everything that happened to them. So the Eye members became angry and started looking for the sons of jurists. And this happened last year. So while they were looking for the sons of jurists, the jurist members in the community have already heard about what happened and noticed what happened. So they tried to approach the area members to settle the whole thing. So they told the area members that the people that are involved in this, they are children, they are junior fraternity. So we don't want any problem. We don't want anyone to have problem with each other. So we are trying to settle it. So area members agreed to the settlement and said that it is okay but these young men that are the sons of jurists because it seems that after they did what they did and they noticed that the young man is a member of AA they started hiding of course so the AA members said that these young men that are sons of jurists should provide the cell phone the wallet and the money inside the wallet that they took from the AA member when they beat the AA member up now the young men were able to provide the wallet and the money but they were not able to provide the phone now the AM members had given them two days 48 hours to provide this phone and the wallet but the young men provided wallet money without the phone so the AM members said that they need the phone and this is where the problem started the jury members had told the AM members that it seems like the young men had sold the phone and it seems like the phone is not available. So they were asking to buy a brown new phone for the young man who was involved. And the AM members had insisted that they need that particular phone that was taken from the young man. And they gave the sons of jurists 48 hours to provide it. Of course, the sons of jurists were unable to provide this very phone that was missing. And from there, the AM members see a jurist member and beat up the jurist member because by this time, the jurist members were the one talking for the sons of jurists and automatically, they are now involved in the beef. So when they beat up a jurist member, then jurist members also look for AM members and they beat him up. And this is what they normally do in the community when they have problem. Nobody brings anybody down. This was how they fight their confraternity war. So this we are going on for quite some time. So one day, inside that same August of 2022, the AM members were hanging out in the place that they normally hang out. And the jurist members also have a place where they normally hang out. So while the AM members were hanging out, they got an information, an update, that the jurist members are coming to meet them with tools. So the AM members quickly enraged themselves and they said it won't be good if the jurist members just come to meet them there. And the AM members quickly enraged themselves, find tools and they were walking towards the direction where the jurist members were coming from. And it is said that they met each other and there was a standoff. These young men were firing at each other. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. They said it was like a scene in an action movie. So while they were firing at each other, it is said that most people from that particular community have automobile. So the bullets were unable to penetrate these people. However, a young man who is not from the community, they said the young man don't have automobile. And, and it is said that he was also there. Some people said he came to sell weed and some people said he came with the jurist members. However, the young man is a member of jurist and one of the bullets hit him. Boom, boom, boom. And before you knew what was happening, the young man fell down and he went down. After the young man went down, everybody went their separate ways. And before you knew what was happening, there were vigilantes in the community. There were police officers in the communities, mobile police officers in the community. So everyone had to run away. And this whole thing happened last year. And after that, everybody relaxed. So this year, some jurist member had said that AM members in that community had released a song. I think they called the song Jojo. And they said in this particular song, the AM members were bragging that they brought down a member of jurist and jurist did not do anything. So this made the members of jurist became angry and last month, July 2023, the jurist members decided to retaliate. And they are saying this retaliation is because of the song that was released by the AM members. But some AM members and some people 
have said that this is normal with confraternities, that all confraternities have songs that they release and they brag in the songs and say some things that have happened in the past in the song. So the thing is not new and some people even argue that the song wasn't released this year. However, that is the song that prompted the jurist members to retaliate and pull a hit on a member of AA. So on July 2023, I think this happened around on the 7th of July 2023, the jurist members decided to pull a hit on this young man that you are currently seeing on your screen. Now this young man is by the name of Ahmed. He is a Nigerian military officer. He is an army and also a member of AA. This young man is said to have just been given an office in AA. They just gave him a position in AA in that particular community. Now here's one of the surprising things about this young man that was brought down. When jurists and AA had the problem last year, this young man wasn't in the community. He wasn't even there. Probably he was in another community or probably he was doing his soldier thing, maybe in a mission somewhere. But he wasn't directly in that community when this whole problem started. So if you are a member of the NV family, yesterday night, you will have noticed that a lot of people were discussing similar things like this. So let's go back to the story. So this young man is said to have just played football and he didn't know that some jurist members have already started following him to bring him down. So the young man finished playing football, went home to relax and immediately he got home, the jurist members pulled a hit on him and they brought him down. Now like I said before, the young man is by the name of Ahmed and they just gave him a position in AA in that particular community. Now after this had happened, it became a full-blown war right there in the community of Osen. Everyone started hiding their head and everyone started traveling. So about two days ago, the AA members decided to retaliate and they pulled a hit on this young man that you are currently seeing on your screen. The young man is said to be a member of jurist and it seems like his name is Follow Run Show. I really don't know how to pronounce it very well. So the AA members pulled a hit on the young man and they brought the young man down in broad daylight. So like I said, for those that are in the NV family WhatsApp, you must have also seen when I posted a quick update that they have brought someone down in Osen in Edo State. In the quick update, I wrote that Osen is located in Benin City, but I was corrected by the NV family from Benin City telling me that Osen is close to Benin City, that it is not located in Benin City. It is another community close to Benin City in Edo State. So the current situation between these two groups in Osen right now, a lot of people are saying that it seems to be difficult for the leaders to come together to settle this. And this is still what I don't understand because if the leaders have power to be able to make peace and to be able to settle it, they should come together and do it since they are brothers. But people are telling me that it is not that easy just because they are brothers doesn't mean that they have power over everyone because people have already been brought down and these people that have been brought down have friends so their friends are not just going to lay low just because the leaders told them to stand down so this is the current situation in that community right now the community is tensed people don't know what to do and people don't know what is going to happen next However, I just hope and I wish that these people will be able to come together and try to make peace and behave like the brothers that they are. Because most of the time when they raise a confraternity war, you will notice that even when the leaders are not brothers, they are able to communicate with each other and try to make peace. So when the leaders are brothers, you will expect them to do it as fast as they can because these people are brothers that love each other. So the confraternity that they are heading shouldn't be difficult to make peace. So I hope they are able to come together to make peace and know that the more you bring people down, the more you bring your member down because people will like to retaliate. Anyway, you are watching Nigerian Fuel.